Hello, house hunters. It's Donnie Corum with Call to Springs Foreclosure Deals.com and the Integrity Team at Remax. Well, today we're going to bring you something a little bit different. We're standing in front of 1939 Mid Road. Now, this is a one bedroom, one bath house in Manitou Springs. Now, this is definitely outside of the ordinary because usually, from an investment angle, we don't want a one bedroom, one bath house. Doesn't make a great rental. Not a lot of families will utilize that. It's hard to sell in general because if anybody, you know, wants to move in and it's retail, but this is the exception. This, if you just look around a little bit, we're in the Manitou Springs area, you're surrounded by trees, serenity, and just a generally really cool place to live. Give you an idea on the neighborhood, there's a chicken right next door here in a chicken coop is the neighbor on the property. So people who are going to occupy this home are looking for this and the Airbnb craze has completely taken off. So the rental on the surface and turn it into a cash flowing investment property. That means that you could theoretically rent this out, buy it, use it as a vacation when you wanted to and then rent it out for the hundred dollars a night when you don't want it want to use it. See what I mean? This is a benefit on two sides. A great investment property and a nice place to hang out. Let's take a look at Mid Road. We'll get you started. One bedroom, one bath at 900 square feet, so this won't take very long. Here we are. We're walking inside here. You've got a lower level into the basement, so basement access here. And you got to keep in mind, Manitou Springs is extremely expensive. Okay, there's another house this house is listed at $213 a square foot, but we've seen multiples all over the neighborhood going for $230 and $240 a square foot. So these are small houses, but they pack a very high punch price-wise, okay? So you want to keep that in mind. We're not necessarily looking at this for retail. Now listen, if this works for your family, uh, we're going to be giving the price at the end of it, and you're a person who just wants a one-bedroom, one-bath home and it's perfect for you, that's okay. But today, I'm talking to you investor types. I want you to really do an analysis of what would happen if you bought this house house and set it up as an Airbnb and how the income from that could bolster your retirement income for years to come. All right. So let's continue on here. We walk into the kitchen and again, perfectly functional. That's what we're looking for in an Airbnb. Function. Something that's going to be easy to use, low maintenance. When Fannie Mae got this house, I'm sure it was not near this condition. They do a little work to it. To make it livable, they added a real basic appliance package. You know, and that's really all you need. What you need is a very cost efficient property. You don't want to put necessarily high end stainless steel appliances into this thing. You know, you're going to find yourself replacing damaged stuff. I don't think Airbnb customers are, are doing a lot of damage, but it's a rental property with people coming in and out all the time. You know, so you want to keep this low grade simple, does the job. If your tastes allow for more, that's totally fine, but think investment, not place to live. All right, heading the wrong way. We head this direction. And what we have here is the laundry room. Fannie Mae didn't put a washer and dryer in here, and that's okay because we could add that. We've got our utility room, water heater, etc. And again, when you're buying a Fannie Mae house, they get it back to livable standards. Certainly, cosmetically, there are more things we could do, but they get it back to a nice livable standard. They get it very quickly done, and they get it back on the market. Here we are in the bathroom. Okay, not much to do here. Usually when you're watching my foreclosure videos, what am I doing? I'm telling you, hey, we gotta paint this, we gotta add that, we gotta change this. For those of you who weren't looking to do a flip, but rather a rental property, that might have been of a put off, right? You don't wanna spend all this money on it. Well, what if you could buy a turnkey investment property that tomorrow afternoon, after you close on it, you could start renting out and making a hundred bucks a night. What would that be worth to you? So you have to look at this from multiple perspectives. Next up, I'm gonna show you the only bedroom in the house. And, you know, pretty decent size, actually. Oh, the Airbnbs, obviously, you'd want to stage this. So what you're going to add to this is furniture, not sweat equity. You're going to move in some nice furnishings, make it look nice, decorate it with a Colorado theme, and then you start broadcasting it out. Courtesy of 3D video like we use in our listings on Matterport, you can now broadcast Airbnbs so people can physically walk through the property digitally without ever stepping foot inside. So when they're thinking inexpensive vacation. Hey, let's go to Colorado. We can hang out in Manitou Springs, rent a small cabin style house, and really enjoy ourselves. This could be the perfect property. That's cash flow for you. We continue on. The house does have a basement. It's unfinished. But you can see here, 
We got a little bit more room here. They're, I don't think they're counting this in the total square foot. Well, they might be counting on the total square footage. It's listed as 900 square feet. So I have to see if this was inside of that figure or not. They didn't replace the carpet down here. Might be something they just wanted to pull up because it's on the lower level. I could see Fannie Mae cutting back on that and not wanting to pay for that. So, you know, we add a little carpet to this and we're good to go. Added living space equals one bedroom could be turned into two as a temporary bedroom, which increases the amount you can charge per night for your Airbnb rental. We head out this way, where we end up, where we always end up on our videos, in the backyard. And guys, truly, a house, as simple as it is, is not the selling point in this. It's this is the selling point. When you show pictures of kind of having a nice mountain cabin feel, yet you're only a couple minutes from downtown Colorado Springs, you've got your business people who can stay in a hotel, or they could come out here and enjoy this, I think the majority of them would pick this. The ability to just be in a nice, serene environment away from all the hustle and bustle, 100 bucks a night is gonna be a cost effective for this. When you look at major ski resorts, uh, Vail or Aspen, two, three, four hundred dollars a night, and that's why those condos can go for one or two million dollars. Certainly we're no ski resort, but this, there's not a lot of place in the world where you can have this. So, how long? So let's wrap up where we started. We're standing in front of 1939 Mid Road. This is a one bedroom, one bath house with 900 square feet. Now, in the area, I'll let you know this. We had an investor who was going to buy this property a while back before it completely foreclosed. The deal didn't go through because of the work that was required. So Fannie Mae went in, did the work, and now has made this thing turnkey. When we were looking at it, it was much cheaper, but today they have it listed at 195,000, okay? Now, quick math for you. You gotta put 20% down when you're doing an investment property. So you're gonna finance 160. Your payment will be seven, dollars $800 a month, plus taxes and insurance, maybe 900 bucks a month. You have to rent this thing out for 10 days all month long to pay the entire mortgage, right? And in certain peak seasons, you'll have it rented out every night of the week, which would result in $3,000 a month in income coming in off of an eight to $900 a month payment. Just think about that. That's the power of using this new Airbnb thing to put investing in real estate to work for you. How do you get started? Well, give us a call, 719-387-1122. We get you a showing on Mid Road or help you find another cash flowing investment property. Click on the link right at the top of the video. You can register for a showing of this property specifically. Let us know what time you wanna come out and see it. We'll come out and give you the full tour of it, let you see it in person and really show you the numbers at that point. But you gotta act quickly. Rates are still low, so if we're gonna do this long-term hold thing, you wanna do it while you can cash flow easier in the 4% range than you'll ever be able to cash flow paying 6 or 7%, which may happen if rates continue to go up. Take advantage of the opportunities. You've got a great time to make a lot of money in real estate investing. With that, this is Donnie Corum with the Integrity Team at Remax and CaldwellSpringsForClosureDeals.com. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We are the future.